Hey, good morning. How does God address false prophets? We're looking today at Jeremiah chapter 23, and our reading comes to us from verses 30 to 36. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, who steal my words every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, who use their tongues and say, he says. Behold, I am against those who prophesy false dreams, says the Lord, and tell them, and cause my people to err by their lies and by their recklessness. Yet I did not send them or command them. Therefore, they shall not profit this people at all, says the Lord. So when these people or the prophet or the priest ask you, saying, What is the oracle of the Lord? You shall then say to them, What oracle? I will even forsake you, says the Lord. And as for the prophet and the priest and the people who say, The oracle of the Lord, I will even punish that man in his house. Thus, every one of you shall say to his neighbor and every one to his brother, What has the Lord answered? And what has the Lord spoken? And the oracle of the Lord you shall mention no more, for every man's word will be his oracle, for you have perverted the words of the living God and the Lord of hosts, our God. So we've been looking at this. And false prophets, they steal God's words, they speak lies, and they cause God's people to err. And we don't want to do much erring. So God says he will punish those false prophets. There are many false oracles who are going to begin canceling each other out. Their false prophesyings will all come to nothing in the end. Remember when Jesus was on trial and they brought all the false witnesses? And even though they were trying to uh, be corrupt and undermine everything, even then they couldn't agree with each other. And that's kind of the way it is, I think, with false prophets. You get too much false prophecy going on and, oh, I mean, any amount's too much. But the message is going to conflict and be crazy, and people will lose faith even in the false messages, which is as it should be. So you see, time will separate the true from the false. In the end, time always sorts it out. And what about today? You know, false prophets come in many guises. There are false prophets. There are false messiahs. There are false teachers. There are false preachers. And all of them sort of fit into this category, at least loosely, of the false prophet. They're speaking on God's behalf as though they have a message from him, but if they're falsies, then uh, they're, they're bringing a fake message. It's not from him. So again, as we've been saying, we, when they approach us, we need to have good discernment so we can tell the truth from the false. We need to be able to determine for ourselves which voices are from God and which voices are the voices of self-service. And so we haven't been left to cross our fingers and sort of guess like, well, that sounds like it's from God. No, that one sounds like it's from God. That message sounds like it's from him. We haven't been left in that situation, not at all. But friend, if we partake of the selfless spirit of Jesus, if we are in his word day by day, getting more understanding of his ways, we won't be led astray. We won't be mistaken. We'll be able to tell the voice of the true shepherd. We'll hear his voice and say, that's Jesus, compared to the voice of the false shepherd. We'll be able to say, you know, there's something about that that isn't right. It's not meshing with scripture. So God hasn't left us in a place where we can't know. But if we're content to just float along and accept the voices that the, as they want us to accept them, we're going to get into trouble and we're going to do some erring. We're going to reap unnecessary hardship or maybe a lot worse. In any case, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be right. Please help us to be uh, partaking of that selfless spirit of Jesus. Help us, Lord, to be in the word so that we'll know what that spirit is. We'll know how it looks when it's put to the test, Lord. We can see it in the life of Jesus. We can see it in the life of your servants in the scriptures. Help us, Lord, to be right in that same way. And we won't have any problems whatsoever, Lord, telling the truth from the false by your word. Thank you, Lord, for your word today. Thank you for the time to get into your word today. Help us to make sure we use some of that time in the word you've given us. Thank you for hearing, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So God opposes the false prophets by identifying their duplicity and their lies. He lets them spout their lies, but his word is the way to tell the truth from error, and it will get us through safely. God be with you today.